And we are in the final stretch. Retailers extending hours today to capture all of those last minute shoppers. But will it be enough to make this season pay off? Britt Beamer, chairman and founder of consumer research firm America's Research Group, joins us now from Orlando, Florida. Britt, welcome. Merry Christmas. Happy Lord, holidays Merry Christmas. to you. Thank so you. size Thank up you. for me, if you will, your opinion on the retailer strategies this holiday season. Well, as you know, retailers started out with Black Friday with incredible early bird specials. We saw crowds like never before. Trouble is, is the early bird specials went away and so did the crowds. As you know, retailers had less inventory this year. They bragged they wouldn't have to advertise and promote as much. And they refused to give consumers, you know, big discounts. So last weekend, even when we had good weather around the country, you know, shopper track even showed that traffic levels were down double digits all throughout the country. And the, and the reason why is, is that 41% of consumers, remember those 60 and 70% off sales last year, and 25% of consumers told us that they were going to wait and finish their Christmas shopping when they sell 60 and 75% 60 and 70 off. They haven't seen it. They've not come out. You know, they're not coming out this, this week. And I know everybody wants to open up longer, but, you know, half of America went on vacation on Tuesday night. So these people that are opening up really late today, yesterday and today, they may be having some fun being open late, but there's not many shoppers in the stores. As I was in the stores this morning. You could have rolled a bowling ball down the lane at 10 o'clock. You're kidding. So outside no. of these inventory issues that you're describing, why did the retailers opt not to offer discounts? Well, as you know, Wall, you know, they're more concerned about Wall Street than they are Main Street. And, of course, they talked about their inventories being lower. But the trouble is, you know, my research says that some of these retailers may have 15% less inventory, but they have 20% fewer shoppers. So maybe it evens out. But I think the bottom line is, is that they're much more concerned about their earnings. As you know, earlier this week or last week, Best Buy came out and said that their sales have been incredibly strong, but their earnings were lower because they've sold more promotional TV sets this year. You know, their stock took a beating over that. So if you're if you're a publicly held company, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, I'm not going to report the fact that I that I'm going to reduce my earnings in order to get more shoppers. I'll just I'll just stand firm and, and have as as good earnings as I can. So, Britt, how would things have been better if retailers had targeted Main Street versus Wall Street? Oh, you would have seen probably a, a, a four to five percent sales increase this year versus I think it'll be down 1.2, maybe 1.8 now for this past weekend being bad. I think that the big difference is is that you know what happened is this year, Lori, is that you know flat panel screen TV sets were incredible values. You know, I did a research study five years ago that said when those TV sets got to be priced at 499 or lower, they'd fly off the shelves because they'd be a mass market product. Well, they did. This year, we're under 499. You know, flat panel screen TV sets have been a home run. You've seen some very strong sales in promotional price computers. You even saw some video games come out in really strong sales early, those that were marked down. But TVs have been the stellar performer all, all, all season. And that's the issue is a lot of consumers spent more money than they thought they would because of TV sets, but they've just stopped after that. A lot of consumers had planned to buy their apparel this week because they, they, they didn't buy their kids much apparel for back to school. They were going to buy it this week and give it to them as Christmas gifts. But, you know, we've seen that even slow down this week because parents said, well, maybe I'll get better prices in January. So now we've got consumers pushing these, these out further and further. And in the East Coast, you've got this bad weather more and more cash gifts, and cash gifts are a disaster for retailers. We know last year, of consumers that got cash gifts, 74% of those dollars went to either paying bills, buying groceries, going out to eat. Only 26% of those dollars were spent at retail. So at the end of the day, how is this holiday season going to stack up versus last year when we were in the height of the financial crisis? Well, last year, as you know, retail sales were down about 2.7% on a comp store basis. I think we're going to be down probably closer to 2% this year. I think somewhere between 1.2 and 1.8 down. It could even be worse with, with the uh, numbers because last year we had a pretty solid after Christmas sale period and retailers have said they don't plan to give consumers more than 50% off after Christmas. So we may see a lot of consumers just sit on the sidelines until the discounts go up or until retailers decide they want to give the consumers better deals in January. Is but there the retailers any... better remember what... Excuse me for interrupting. Need, you, I was Go just going to ask you, you know, looking forward, is there any light at the end of the tunnel? Because people are still really concerned about their employment status, and unemployment is expected to improve right until the end of next year, at the very well, soonest. And that's exactly right. Or you know, Here's the point. You know, 41% of consumers are, are concerned about their jobs. That's about four times 
the level of unemployment when you're in that job security concern issue, you slash all your disposable spending, you go to the bare essentials, you reduce your spending 30 or 40 percent, and those consumers, all they're doing is paying off bills and trying to get their mortgage payments in advance, so if they lose their job, they got money. So that's what you got going on, and plus you got the consumers out there that lost money last year in the market, they're trying to worry about what their wealth factor is. So we got a lot of factors this year. All right, Britt, thank you very much. Kind of an unfortunate picture there shaping up for the holiday retail sector. Britt Beamer, once again, chairman and founder of America's Research Group.